Students of James Monroe High School are tackling AIDS head on. At the forefront of AIDS education in New York City schools, Monroe students are bringing information right to the people on the street corners of the Bronx. The program started out of what's known as a base grant, which comes from the Board of Education. The base means be active in self-education. The kids felt that AIDS and HIV prevention was certainly something that was top priority among their generation and they wanted to do something about saving lives. We have gone to a number of public libraries and done presentations. We have done a number of other high schools. We will be going to Rikers Island one of these days. So with guidance from Tom Porton and AIDS educational methods inspired by Project Bravo, the Monroe HIV peer educators put together the van, their material, and set out to educate about AIDS throughout the Bronx. We were recipients of one of the 1993 Student Volunteer Service Awards, and that was given to the group at City Hall, presented by Storm Field last week. Only several groups, volunteer groups and individuals within the city receive this, so it's a real honor and it's a, it's a real reward. This group of Monroe peer educators is effective because of their commitment to the project and also because when teens talk, teens listen. When I first learned about the disease in seventh and eighth grade, teachers were just lecturing us about it. They didn't ask us questions. Uh, what would you like to know about it? Are you afraid? Uh, they didn't ask us questions. They just told us about it, and that was the end of the lesson. But with us, we go to the teenagers, and we let them demonstrate how to put on a condom, those sort of things. Uh, they ask us questions. They're comfortable with us more than with adults. Spend an afternoon with these students, and you learn that AIDS is not only a teenage problem. Everyone in the community is affected. <laughs> He was saying that a lot of people don't believe that this is going to affect them until they really have it. And like I was telling them, that's what we try to educate people. Having open, frank, sensitive discussions are part of the daily routine for these Monroe peer educators. Lifestyles are, the, are basically good condoms because they lubricate it with not oxygen 9 And they, even though they color it, they're still effective. They're, Natural nail skin condoms is not good because it has pores in it, which allows um, HIV and other STDs to come through. The glow in the dark condoms are not good because they're just for fun. But if someone was to use a glow in the dark condom, they should use a latex condom under it and have the glow in the dark condom over it. But the best condoms to use is latex lubricated with Noxinal 9. If you're sexually active, yeah. or if you know anyone who's sexually active, um, we have Help. different things on condoms and different kind of lubricants and things you can use. Yeah, I've, I've heard about this, but how mm -hmm. can you, for example, me being a homosexual, how can I protect myself against AIDS? Well, um, the same way a heterosexual can. By, um, first of all, abstinence, we try to enforce abstinence, but if you are sexually active, we um, recommend condoms. Tragically, Many of these Monroe peer educators are motivated by having to deal with HIV in their personal lives. My best friend, her little sister, died of HIV, and that's why she wants to become a peer educator, my friend Ebony. My ex-boyfriend's mother had AIDS, and she died uh, last month. My cousin had it, and she died from it. And, you know, nobody knew. I didn't know what it was until the day of the funeral, and it hurt me because, you know, I didn't think it could happen to any of us, you know. but. It happened and that's what made me, you know, I want to know more about this and I, you know, when I found out that we had this in the school, I joined it and, you know, I learned how to protect myself and how to talk to my family and to my little cousins as I'm the oldest, you know, how to, when they get older, don't let anybody peer pressure you into having unprotected sex. If you're going to have sex, use a condom. That's, you know, it's safe. It's second best to abstinence. It was only a matter of time that a man inflicted with AIDS came by. He was given information about support services, but he also had something to say about these Monroe students. I happen to be HIV positive, and I think what this group of people are doing here is very important and essential because the youth are the ones that are most affected, and those are the ones that most need to be reached at this time. Okay, there are also those that are walking around that do not know they have it. They must go and learn because there is a chance of preventing it from going into uh, 
AIDS. HIV peer educators from James Monroe High School have taken street corner language to a new level. The street corner language they're talking here is something that really might help solve the AIDS epidemic. I'm Gary Axelbank for BXNY.